Hi, everybody. I'm Hector Garcia. As an accountant, I am obsessed with productivity. I want to be working as quickly and as swiftly as possible when doing my accounting work. And um, a couple of years ago, I bought this thing called the Stream Deck. It's a totally customizable custom keyboard that has buttons, has dials. It's really, really powerful, but it's about 200 bucks. And I think that price point turns off some of my colleagues when I tell them about it. So I recently bought this unit. It's, it was 50 bucks in Amazon. It's called the Wireless Shortcut Remote slash Wireless Keyboard. It is on the cheaper side compared to the Elgato. And full disclosure, if I were to buy a $200 unit today, I probably would buy the Logitech Creative Console. I've been watching some videos and reading some reviews. And I got some major FOMO because I don't have this one. And this, is, this one kind of sort of supersedes the Elgato. The good news is uh, the Elgato works really well for me because it's compatible with the lights that I have here and some of the audio video equipment that I have. So I'm actually really happy with my Elgato unit. But uh, specifically, when it comes to having a low cost unit like this one, the $50 unit called the XP Pen, and I'm gonna bring in the control panel over here to kind of start contextualizing. The, the idea behind this thing is that you're gonna program, there's 10 keys, there's 10 programmable keys, and they, they're just blank, okay? They're just blank keys. And it comes with this little sticker set, right? So you can you know, then put the, put the stickers, whatever you want, right? After you're pretty much done figuring out how you're gonna customize this. And it has this little dial here that's really good because it can help you zoom in and out and doing sort of things that you would do with a dial. But if you look at the screen here, this is the software that it comes with. And this is how you custom program this keyboard to do whatever you want it to do. Now, generally, when I'm in QuickBooks, for example, one of the things I do a lot is I, I zoom in and out, right? So generally, I have to do Control Plus and Control Minus, and I, sometimes I forget to do it. And just like the, the zooming in and out is a very common thing I do in QuickBooks. Uh, but now I, I can program, custom program the, the dial itself to, for it to be zooming in and out. So the way that will work is I open up this, uh, this area here by clicking on it, and then I tell it what I want it to do. So the way, the way this one works is you could actually have a middle button here that switches through all the different modes. So you can set up up to, up to four modes. Right now I have it set up to disable the second and the, oh, the second and the fourth mode. And I only have zoom and scroll as the two options. So I'll kind of show you how that works. So I'm gonna close out of that. And then I'm gonna go back into QuickBooks. And right now I have it in zoom mode. So if I use the scroll, it just zooms, right? So then I don't have to do control plus or control minus. So you get really, you know, really that little clicky feeling to go up and down one. So I absolutely love that. And if I do press it once, it changes modes. So then if I were to do this, it'll scroll. So I'll go into a, a report or something where I would need to use a scroll. So let me show you that really quick. And you can scroll, see? If I press it one more time, I can zoom out. If I, let's say, maximize my screen here in QuickBooks, right? I zoom in, zoom out, press one more time, and I can scroll. Super cool, right? Uh, of course, you can scroll with, the, with your mouse as well, or if you have any other ways you can scroll, but at least the zoom in for me is, is very, very practical because then I have the combination of using my both my hands, the hand on the custom keyboard and the hand on my mouse, and then obviously I can switch back to my regular keyboard. The other keys worth uh, mentioning here are these customizable keys. So we already did the, the dial itself. Now we're going to talk about the specific keys. The other important thing to just before we get into that is you could do a rotation on this. And then basically, if you prefer to work it, work it like this, or you prefer to work it um, this way, whatever. So whichever way you work, um, you want to program it so it's in whatever direction you're working with. I actually personally like this way. So I put it back into rotation zero. And that's how it's showing on the on the screen. So let's do a couple of things. So for example, let's say I want to program this K1 to be the same thing as escape. So all I have to do is clear whatever's in there. I'll press escape on my keyboard. And escape just has this weird little weird symbol. I actually hit control option because that's how I zoom in. But I'll, I'll get rid of that. But that little symbol means escape. So I just hit escape and then hit OK. So now this K1, OK, or this button that you see here, that becomes your escape, okay? Then I, I wanna think about what are all these other things that I use in QuickBooks quite a bit that could be helpful for me. So I know escape for sure is one of them, but maybe there's other things. So if I go in, back into QuickBooks here, and I hit Control-Alt-Question-Mark, 
Okay, I get this list of keyboard shortcuts where QuickBooks tells me what ev e e all of these things mean. So for example, Zen mode, which is what allows me to do the full zoom in and zoom out, which is control plus period or control period, that I definitely want to program that into it. So like just to, for con context, if I hit control period, it does that full screen Zen mode. I definitely want to program this into my custom keyboard. So let's say, for example, I'll make the second one up here. Maybe I'll use this, uh, this, this here, the K3, I'll make that Zen mode. So let me click on that. I'll clear whatever's in there. I hit control period or command period if I'm on a Mac or a PC or Mac, you know, whatever, whatever you want to program in, into that, you hit okay. So now I have my, my, this K3 key, uh, which is this one right here. That one's programmed. And then I have this one as escape. So I got full screen here and then I got escape here. Now this K2 here, I program it to access the search. Back to control alt question mark. There is a shortcut here that says, if I do um, control alt F, that gives me global search. So if I do control alt F, it opens up the search so I can start uh, typing whatever I'm going to search. So I'm gonna do that. So let me go in here and I'm gonna program this K2 here by clicking on it. And then I click on control alt F, okay, I'm on a Mac, so that's control option. And then I program that into it and then I click okay. So now I got my top three keys set up. So if I, if I back into QuickBooks really quick, just to illustrate it, look, I'm zooming in, zooming out. Okay, if I have anything open in front of me, for example, if I have an invoice, I can hit escape and exit out. Just get out of it, right? So if I have an ex a check open or something like that, and then I hit escape, I exit out, so beautiful. If I were to do a quick search, I press that button there and then I put invoices between $100 and $200, okay? And then it does my, my search because QuickBooks has this natural language search, which is really good as well. So instead of having to remember Control-Alt-F, I just go boom and it goes straight into that search box. One super cool thing worth mentioning is with Right Tool, we also have a setting that enables um, speech to text dict dictation, which is Control Shift A. So imagine that if you wanted to have a keyboard shortcut to start dictating into the computer, you can program it with um, with this custom keyboard. So let's say, for example, instead of using the instead of using uh, Control Alt F. I'm gonna add to that also Control Shift A, so basically a combination of things. So I do Control Shift A, and now I have a combination. I have basically two shortcuts back to back. So the way that will work is, is I'm gonna go and press the same button here. Invoices between $100 and $200. That was actually dictated. I didn't type that. So I wanted to add that little thing in there because that additional piece where you not just press a button, but also enable dictation, that's a total game changer. And you can use that in any sort of combination that you want. Let me show you the other things that I already have programmed into here. So for example, K4, which is this button right here, I have that programmed in to do control, um, command control minus or control alt minus. And what that does is that collapses this left rail over here. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see. So if I want to get rid of the left rail, I do Control Alt minus, and that gets rid of that. Now keep in mind that that is not a built-in shortcut that QuickBooks gives you. When you do the Control Alt question mark, and you go to the built-in shortcuts, you're not going to see that there. That's because I'm using a, an extra app called Write Tool, and the free version of Write Tool, which you just download and install into your browser, gives you all this uh, additional keyboard shortcuts. As a matter of fact, if you click on this little key button here after you install Write Tool. It will take you into uh, the page where we have all the ones that QuickBooks gives you. That's the first group here. And then we give you a whole bunch of additional uh, shortcuts. So you get the ones that QuickBooks gives you, plus the one that gives the right tool gives you, plus the ones that the Chrome browser gives you. So you actually combine all those things and you're going to be able to really, really create a, a customizable experience to navigate your software. In this particular case, we're focused on QuickBooks, but this keyboard can work for any type of software that you work quite a bit. As a matter of fact, this is really programmed for people that do video editing and Photoshop, but you know, I'm very technology curious, so I'm obviously looking for ways to use these type of tools for myself as well. On this one right here, K5, which is this one right here, that one I have it for Control-Alt-Left-Arrow, 
And when that one does is, if I happen to have both the left rail and the left navigation open, I do control alt left arrow, that collapses just the left navigation bar. So if I use my special keyboard, I can do that. So it's really cool. I have two buttons, if you can actually see my fingers, I have two buttons in, in which you can completely control uh, which I want to do. And I have the one here on K6. Um, I have that one programmed to collapse and expand my right toolbar. So I got this whole row is used for collapsing and expanding right tool, right? I mean, right tool and the left navigation bar. And then this top one here does the full screen mode. And then here I zoom. Look at that. Look how much power I have packed into one little tiny piece of hardware. I'm going to show you the other ones that I have built in here. This one right here is a combination of things. This one's actually control command left arrow and control command uh, negative or control alt in this case. So this one actually collapses both at the same time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Collapse both at the same time. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and there's also a keyboard shortcut for that, which you can see on the website. So I have the power to do each one individually or both at the same time. It's just amazing. Let me show you what else I have here. This one I have is set up to be an enter. So it's actually a combination of things. So that's, that one doesn't enter. And this K7, which is this one here, that one's up arrow. And this one here is control, command, plus, and tab. So I'm going to show you how these work. So if I want to trigger this create button, and even if I'm in, in, in full zoom screen, okay, so I'm in full zoom screen, and let's say my right tool is collapse, I'm going to hit this button here. And what it does is it opens my new create button and immediately adds a tab. So that way I can just uh, uh, scroll down. I mean, put my, I can hit this one to go up, okay? Or I can hit this one to go down. So this way, if you actually see, look at my fingers, this allows me to uh, go through these menu items without using my keyboard. So that's kind of, that's the reason why I did that, okay? To, to do it this way. Of course, you can do shift tab on your keyboard and go backwards. But again, I, I want to I wanna have my hand on this shortcuts keyboard as much as possible. Remember, escape gets me out of whatever I am in. So I think that's it. Um, did I show you that? So that's enter. Okay, so yes, so the enter would be a combination of that. So I would press this and then I would go down. If I want to do a credit memo, press enter and that would open that transaction. Escape gets me out of it. So what a beautiful thing this is. So just keep in mind that whatever software you're using, whatever application you're using, you can build in your own commands, your own combination of keyboards. I did my own for QuickBooks only. Now, what's really cool about this, this one too, is that it has multiple modes. So you can have group number two, group number three, group number four, and you can program one of these to switch between groups. So you could technically have nine here, switch to the next one, nine there, switch to the next one, nine there, and so forth. Now, I, I, right now, I'm only really experimenting with QuickBooks. So I'm only, I only have it programmed to that one thing, that one thing only. But also, you can uh, build them based on the particular software. So for Photoshop, I can load that up. And then the Photoshop version of this could be different. So I can do one for Photoshop. I can do one for all applications. So right now I have it for applications. I'm in QuickBooks all day long. And so like, that's really what I care about. I literally bought this for 50 bucks so I can have it on my right hand side of the keyboard because I have my Elgato Stream Deck, which I use more for like muting my microphone, turning off my webcam, changing the lights uh, here up here to the right. And I have this on the right side. Of, of, of my keyboard, but now this house is now going to become my left side um, uh, a tool. And you can see how quickly you can navigate through it. So for example, I'm zooming in and out and I'm using my mouse to click somewhere. I'm zooming in a little bit more. Okay. So I get, I get a lot of, you know, I got a lot of that power. I'm going to go, go to customer hub and go maybe into customers. Uh, and maybe I want to, I want to scroll without using my mouse. So I change to scroll mode and I can scroll through here. Okay click one more time, zoom in, zoom out, click one more time, uh, sc uh, scroll up and down. So su super powerful, right? Uh, I press this button, goes to my search, press escape, escape out of that, press this button, new, uh, new transactions button. I mean, what else can I ask for? It's as powerful as it gets. So hopefully uh, that intrigues you. Okay, I'm not saying you need to buy this particular unit. I mean, like I said, I bought this thing for 50 bucks of Amazon. I'm not getting paid to do this. They didn't reach out to me. This is like, little Chinese company that I don't know how many they sell these things. I was literally just looking for the lowest cost unit that I can promote with right tool to make you instantly more productive with keyboard shortcuts. Because I'm a strong believer 
that if accounting professionals use more keyboard shortcuts, they're going to be much faster. And, and hopefully they'll stop complaining about AI, you know, being so much faster than them, et cetera, et cetera. Because at the end of the day, I don't think AI really will make you more productive. I think little things like this could make you more productive. So, um, so give it a shot. I mean, Amazon lets you return it if it doesn't work. I would love to know in the comments what was your experience with something like this? It doesn't have to be this one. There's there's a lot of other alternatives as well. And then once you're done, you know, put the stickers on it so you know exactly, you know, so you remember what everything is. And um, hoping to see some productivity boost. See you in the next one.